A number of women are diagnosed with both hypothyroidism and PCOS and often the symptoms appear to be similar and hence can go undiagnosed. If you have been diagnosed with both hypothyroidism and PCOS, you're not alone. These two conditions are known to commonly occur together. A number of studies show that there is a significantly higher prevalence of hypothyroidism, especially Hashimoto's thyroiditis in women with PCOS than in women without PCOS. An India-specific study showed that 22.5% of women with PCOS had HD hypothyroidism as compared to only 1.25% in the general population. So what is the connection between thyroid and PCOS? Scientists believe that some women may be genetically susceptible to an overactive immune system and a chronically overactive immune response may be at the root of both hypothyroidism and PCOS. When your immune system is overactive, it attacks the body itself and this is called autoimmunity. Hypothyroidism is known to be caused by an overactive immune system that attacks your body's own organ. Some research also suggests a possible role of autoimmunity in the development of PCOS. Another factor that is common among these two is the role of inflammation. Specifically, research has shown that a gene called FBN3 may be responsible for causing both these conditions. When there are variations in this gene, special kinds of cell in your body called T-regulatory cells TREGs, are not given the right signals to do their job. These cells are responsible for preventing an autoimmunity. So when the FBN3 gene has variations, this leads to TREGs not getting the right signals and they fail to prevent the immune system from attacking the body. When the body is attacked like this for a long time at small levels, it is known as low-grade chronic inflammation. And there is a lot of research ongoing to study whether it could be an underlying cause of PCOS. When the body is constantly under attack from the immune system, there is oxidative stress and toxic chemicals produced in the body because of the stress. Some researchers believe that the stress and toxic chemicals may be the reason behind the hormonal imbalance that we see in PCOS. The same phenomenon is observed in hypothyroidism as well. Tregs are not activated due to variations in FBN3, leading to an overactive immune response that attacks the thyroid gland. The second common factor is increased male hormone levels. This is one association between hypothyroidism and PCOS that scientists have been able to establish so far. Apart from this, some studies have shown that hypothyroidism increases testosterone male hormone levels in the body. High testosterone levels lead to PCOS symptoms like irregular periods, excess facial and body hair growth, and the polycystic appearance of ovaries. So, hypothyroidism is known to cause PCOS-like ovaries and overall worsening of PCOS symptoms. The third factor includes high estrogen to progesterone ratio. On the other hand, the high estrogen to progesterone ratio in PCOS may lead to hypothyroidism. Estrogen and progesterone are important female hormones responsible for maintaining your cycle and the development and proper functioning 
of our reproductive organs. In women with PCOS, estrogen levels are usually higher than normal and progesterone levels are lower than normal. Thus, increasing the overall estrogen to progesterone ratio. This leads to irregular periods, polycystic appearance of ovaries and issues with ovulation. Research has shown that a high estrogen to progesterone ratio increases high thyroid antibody levels in the body, which is a sign of hypothyroidism. Overall, we know that women with PCOS tend to have hypothyroidism at a much higher rate than women without PCOS and vice versa, most likely due to the inflammatory effects of an overactive immune system. It has also been shown that women simultaneously having both these conditions have harmful metabolic and reproductive effects and worse symptoms than women with only one of the two conditions. So lately, if you've been experiencing a change in the way you feel or are exhibiting symptoms that have become severe with time, it is a good decision to speak to your doctor for a proper diagnosis.